Welcome back to Done With Depression. Today is chapter three of The Voice of Knowledge Book by Don Miguel Ruiz. If you guys haven't seen the other videos, you can check that out in the playlist. I'll have it uh, in a link above there. So chapter three is called The Lie of Our Imperfection. And in the four agreements, it would be called Becoming Domesticated. Um, I had a video on that as well, on how did we all get so messed up to begin with. But um, this one is the lie of our imperfection. So it talks about as ch children, we are free to love, be authentic, and fully experience life. So it's saying that we're born perfect and we're born happy and enjoying life. And then as we learn to speak, we are overwhelmed with different stories of our true self. So we get a story from our parents, you need to be a good boy, meaning um, it can be implied that if you need to be a good boy, that you are not a good boy when that's being said. People tell you what you should be, which creates a am not within ourselves. So if you should be something else, it's implying that you are not that currently. And we change ourselves to seek rewards from others. So it's punishment reward yet again, um, just like in Four Agreements, it mentions how we train our children like we uh, train our animals. If they're good, you give them a treat or a reward. If they're bad, you give them a punishment. You have to work hard so some to be somebody implies I am nobody and I'm not good enough. I'm not perfect, which leads to searching for a false image of perfection. So just these little things that are said to us um, throughout us growing up by our teachers, by our parents, by other um, figures that we look up to can make these implications that we're not good enough and have the am not philosophy. We are influenced by parents, siblings, teachers, and television telling us all um, that we should be this, which implies that we are not that. So television, obviously there's ads, but there's also the celebrities and, oh, they're rich and they're fancy and they're popular. And even if you don't realize it consciously, still subconsciously it's in our head that we should be this and we're not. So we have to make this false um, persona to copy the attributes or the likeness of other people so that will be liked. Um, when we go through adolescence, we start to make these implications against ourself, the we are nots, and we become to self-reject. We are not enough for others or for ourselves, so we seek validation externally. As we move through life, we start to project versions of ourself for what the people around us want us to be. So first of all, it's people telling us you should be this. So we get the idea that we are not whatever that is. And then through adolescence, we uh, reject ourself. And then after self-rejection, we lead to actually changing ourself to be what others want us to be. We use not perfect as an excuse for our mistakes and continue to search for perfection. But it's obviously a false image because we are already perfect until we started judging ourselves. And now we're searching for this thing, but you can't be what you are not. We start to act like our projections and then truly are living in hell because we are pretending that we're something we're not. Our story is not right or wrong. It's just a story, but we can change it to pursue our truths. So basically it's just going into how we all got so messed up in the four agreements, um, talks about domestication and losing your true self. And here it's more about being authentic and finding your true self yet again. But the end of the chapter also gives hope that it's never too late to have awareness of yourself and find your truths once again. And once you find your truths, you can live your authentic self. And that is the only self that truly has happiness. Mm -hmm.